So there's a myth, right? If you scratch your belly, you're going to get stretch marks. But why is my belly so itchy? It's so itchy. It's like 12 o'clock at night. I'm trying to sleep. And it won't stop itching. So I got a remedy for it. And I've been using it. And it helps. It really helps. First, you're going to need some cocoa butter. I used this whole thing <laughs> from the time I found out I got pregnant up until now. So, I had to get another one. So, you're going to do you get this at Walmart, CVS. Just get you some cocoa butter. Okay. If you look a little closer, you'll see I have like these little hives. It's a setup, I'm telling you, it's a setup for stretch marks. And I'm not having it. I don't want stretch marks. So you just rub that in really good. Then, then you get yourself some Kalamon lotion. I like the clear one because it like kind of peels off eventually. Pour this badge of on there. Pour it on there. Instant relief. Kalamon lotion. You can get the Equate. It's okay. Be cheap. It's still column out lotion. Matter of fact, the Equate one works better. I'm telling you. Got a, quite a bit in there. Then I have to use that. Oh, she's trying to say hey. <laughs> you just pour this olive oil. Make sure it's organic virgin olive oil. You pour that on there. You just rub it. Rub it. Rub it. I've been using it from the beginning of my pregnancy and I still got like a little bit left. Then it got like a month and a half to go. So I should make it through. I don't know if you guys ever felt this, but it's on fire. It itches. Like it itches. Like just rip your skin off type itch. You just want to get that on there, rub it really good, rub it. Then you want to find your way downstairs and get you a bag of ice and sleep with this bag of ice right on your stomach. Yeah, I'm going to get back into bed. I'm tired as heck. But it was on fire. It was on before you eat all the ice, you're gonna wanna put this bag of ice on your belly. Go to sleep with it. It's probably gonna melt because it's like two body heats. It's just fusing together, making you more hotter than the hottest summer in Florida ever. But you'll get through it, I promise.